Well, <laughs> I wanted to take out the billboard. That was not quite how I saw myself doing it. I still say, though, that the Dark Souls games and Elden Ring and all them, this is the difficulty that they aspire to reach but haven't yet. There we go. Oh. There we now we there we go. Sorry. We have to get out. Amicia. This way. Sorry, dude. Is you or us? I picked us. Oh my god. <laughs> Assert your dominance? Wow. How's that working out for you? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, so... I hate fruit cocktail. I guess I'm just escaping then. And now I can never show my face in that establishment again. Uh... What the hell? <laughs> Not what I was going for, Aloy. That's what I wanted. Hello. Okay, so I'm dead. Keep that down, please. You're making it hard to aim. Thank you. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Uh... <laughs> um... That's not good. <laughs> We will have a nice new feature in town soon, it's true. Achievement unlocked. It's heading right for us. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Well, you weren't kidding. That is actually a pretty attractive crater. This is fine, this is okay. <laughs> this is not a problem.
Execute order 67. Yes, my lord. No, no, not 67. Order 66. Execute order 66. Yay! This can't be the original entry room, can it? That's what I was just thinking, Greeny. This looks completely different. The lighting is so different. This is that trap room, isn't it? Where the gas comes out and everything's really dangerous. Traps. How considerate. Oh my god. The lighting makes such a huge difference. Holy crap, it looks so different. Okay, um... I mean, I don't want to tell you your business, but there's a bed right there. It's right there. Fight or flight, sometimes the best strategy is to run away. I got news for you, game. I'm on a motorcycle. But the, Whoa! I was on a motorcycle. Never mind. Oh, and it's back here again. What the hell was that? He looked at me funny. What can I say? Personal guarantee here that you will not regret. Oh my god. That fox just got nailed. The okay, how are we doing time-wise here? Oh no. 66. Wow, that dramatic music cue. Oh, good. Okay. Fine. <laughs> oh. Right. Let's not do that again. Oh my god. <laughs> what else have we got here? Oh, how did I miss the donkey head? It's a donkey mask. I don't want to look like a jackass. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. So knock it off. <laughs> and I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Why not Ooh, both? Explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? Both? Both. 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 Both is good. That could work. It might seem strange, but it'll keep her safe from time fall and chiral contamination while allowing her to breathe. Excuse me.
Whoops. Here, use my sword to do it. I made sure to sharpen it for the occasion. Ah. Uh. Fools, Rhoda! Talos be with you. What was that, Legate? Nothing. Just saying goodbye. Well, the men will be expecting some kind of speech. World of Wonders. We did it, guys. We made it to WoW in the 80s. Whoa! So apparently standing on the back of his hand alone is enough to do it. Would not have guessed at that. Ah! You... <laughs> Alright. We've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, so I must apologize in advance for the obscenity you're about to endure. Who's in charge of the pencil case? The ruler. There. Oh my god, no, don't push me off! Oh my god, Serana. Good afternoon, everybody. Sorry for the slightly late start today, but welcome back to the Library of Lore. Today we're going to be doing some Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom again. It's been a few days since we played this. I took a little bit of a break on Sunday night to play some Fallout, so I'm excited to get back into this. We are at precisely the halfway point in this game, at least by the metrics of number of shrines completed and number of temples completed. I don't know for sure about light roots, and I have absolutely no concept whatsoever about Addison locations, and I don't even care to think about Korok seeds. So let's see. <clears throat> Here we go. We're not going to try to get the Korok seeds anyway, so I don't think that really matters. Okay. Um. That's weird. Game where? Oh, there you are. Ah, uh, it's better. Okay. Oh, hey, Winter. Oh, you are correct. Thank you. I know I'm just forgetting something. How are you doing, Winters? What number are we up to? Is this 21? I'm going to assume 21 and I'll fix it later. And then I probably... Oh, category 2. There we go. And we do not have crowd control or mods. I'm tired. <laughs> I was up too late last night. Other than that, I'm doing pretty good. Got to hang out with a friend very briefly before a stream started who had not streamed in a good four years, so that was pretty nice. Uh, right, we just... Oh, right. We just finally, after a million years, roughly... Upgraded the Pura Pad with all of its full capabilities. So, that's fun. What's in this room? Oh, it's just another door in here. Okay. Let me actually remind myself of what these abilities are. Okay, so we've got... Sensor Plus. You can detect things found in your Hyrule Compendium in the same way that you can detect shrines. First, select what you want to detect by pressing Y on the map screen. Then you will hear a sound alerting you to your target as you get nearer to it. To change the target back to shrines, press Y on the map screen. 
Travel Medallion Instructions. The Travel Medallion feature lets you create a travel gate to any spot you'd like to return to instantly. You'll see the number of gates you can currently make in your key items. A gate is easy to create. Go to the place where you want to put it, then select the Travel Medallion. After that, you can travel to that spot instantly by selecting it on the map just like you do with shrines. If you delete a travel gate on the map, you can then create a new one. So create them as often as you need to. Hero's Path Mode Instructions. Okay. Up to 256 hours worth of in-game travel. And regular sensor. When moving toward a shrine of light you haven't visited before, you'll hear a sound that will alert you to its location. The sound will be more frequent when you're moving more directly toward the shrine. But the sound only goes off when you're actually moving, so don't stop if you want to keep following its lead. If you want to stop the sensor from finding shrines, press Y on the map screen. I wonder if you can use that to home in on light routes as well. Now that I've got Sensor Plus. Imagine you're pretty sleepy. Did you catch the end of Greeny playing Celasta? I had to bail before, unfortunately. It was just going too late for me. So I didn't catch the very end of it. But kudos to him. Did he actually finish it? I was a little concerned when he fell asleep on stream, but, you know, these things happen, I guess. Um, oh, hello. You're very nearby. Is that not falling off? What the heck? That's rude. Oh, no, it did fall off. Never mind. That second wind can be pretty strong after an unplanned nap. That's true. And 40 minutes is... I don't know, maybe it's different for a lot of people. But I find if I manage to sleep a little bit for like 20 minutes or 40 minutes or... Damn it. You know, some multiple of 20. It works so much better for me than... than, uh, like, a, a non-multiple. Like, if I fall asleep for 15 minutes or 30 minutes, it's nowhere near as good. Okay, so we've done this cave before. Um, Let's go over... No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to travel. I want to think that we have indeed um, opened up some new shrine possibilities because we did find a bunch of new light routes. Oh, why am I underground? Ah, you jerk. So rude. Oh, I gotta have a better weapon than that. Oh, crap. Oh, 
Oh, I remember this one. Oh, well, I had a nice weapon. Oh, that thing's back here too. I don't really want to mess with that. Oh, right. It's a wet, drippy cave. Ridiculous. Gotcha. Is nobody else lurking? Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to drop this. Actually, I'll use this. need to turn this into a good club. Where's my good clubbage? There we go. Okay. Is more stuff in here. Well, then, never mind. I got two sapphires. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, really? There's no sh uh, light route down there. So I've got the ones from this location. Interesting that these two are offset, though. I wonder if that means there is one here, because the darkness there looks like there could indeed be... Let's see if we can find one. It doesn't look like there should be a wall directly in our path there. In theory, we should be okay. Let's switch out my armor. Also on a bit of a mission to upgrade my battery more, so let's make sure I grab whatever zonite I can get hold of. So how are you doing today, Winters? I hope all is well with you. Oh, I already asked that. You're doing pretty good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Do you have anything planned for the week? Oh, 
that's a hundred zonite. Okay, so we're doing okay again. And we haven't even gotten to a new mine yet. Hundred and seven? Now, I'm not seeing any of the big deposits. I wonder if maybe those ones don't respawn or something. Of course, they can also be spread out over a larger area. Oh, but you know what I could use? I could use a new weapon, and I might as well take advantage of having access to this. What is that? Traveler's Claymore. Ooh, durability up as well. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with that as we just did with the katana, the eightfold blade. We are going to... Grab another one of, where is it? Should be nearby. 11 fuse attack power, 24. Yeah, we're going to use the black moblin horn. I don't have a photo of black moblin horn yet. Okay, so when this one dies, we can go with the other one. Looks like we've got some promising caves over here. Not a lot, really. I have so many games to finish, but can't motivate myself to play them. I just want to get into Baldur's Gate 3 and Starfield. Yeah, that's why I'm glad that I'm kind of taking my time a little bit with this one, because if I weren't playing Tears of the Kingdom, I would be in that same boat. Yeah, it kind of looks like the bigger deposits don't automatically respawn, which is kind of unfortunate. Did I show you guys? I, I think I showed chat. I wasn't able to get the super fancy collector's edition of Starfield, so I got this. The Xbox controller. It's maybe a bit of a weird purchase for me, since I don't do the controller thing very often. Though I've got to say... I like the Switch Joy-Cons, and I kind of don't mind the PS4, the PS5 controller. It doesn't bother my wrists as much as I would expect, usually. So I'm hoping the Xbox controller is similarly improved over the ones that used to cause havoc with my uh, carpal tunnel. But it looks beautiful, and I figure it's very appropriate for when Starfield comes out. So it's kind of a nice consolation prize for not getting the super fancy watch edition. Because I don't think they actually sold that in Canada. Or if they did sell it in Canada, it sold out so fast that I just had no chance to get it. Not sure which. Come on. Link. Okay, so we got a soldier's spear. Let's equip this one, and then... I'm not going to turn that into a hammer, because it's a spear, and that would be kind of weird. 15, 25, 5, 3, 8. Right, let's do this one. At least you're able to pick that up. All the collector's editions got snapped up so fast, even here. Yeah. In theory, I should be getting the super fancy, stupid, expensive Baldur's Gate 3 collection. I couldn't justify getting that for the PC, because I already had it pre-ordered for so long. But... 
I was able to convince myself that it was not a terrible idea to pick it up for the PlayStation 5. So I'll have it on both platforms. Unfortunately, there's no real super fancy collector's edition version of City Skylines 2. Otherwise, I would have got that too. Because I figured those are really the only three games I'm really focusing on for the whole rest of the year. I might as well use my gaming budget on them. Is that is that okay that's the mine we were just at I guess we're climbing then So depending on how things go by the end of the year, I might also try to get the Starfield headset, which honestly, I would have preferred the headset to the controller. But as much as I'm trying to splash money around on these big games that are the rest of the year for me, the headset was more expensive, and I really like this headset. The only problem with this one is it's wired, and the Starfield one is not wired. So that would have been quite nice. So maybe. I'm still thinking about it. But for now, I think the controller will do. Baldur's Gate 3 Collector's Edition looks super cool. To be honest, I particularly love loot from fantasy games. I, I skew slightly more sci-fi than fantasy, but I do like both of them quite a lot. Looks like I should be able to stand up shortly, hopefully. Wondering if maybe I can get myself wedged in up here. This kind of looks like no. Crap, I hope I've got food. Oh, I have this. That'll do. Huh. You know, I don't think you can do light roots. That's interesting. If you have to pick from compendiums, there's no section for light roots. That does look like I was correct, however. That looks very much like a light root there. Good. Oh, wow. 
Oh, that gave me a lot of area. Let's see what's up here. It looks significant. It honestly, it looks like it's Yega Clan. We'll have to see about that. Are you going to play any evil characters in Baldur's Gate 3? Can't really see myself doing so. Definitely don't have an interest in the Dark Urge. I actually am tempted in the Dark Urge. I will not play an evil character, but the Dark Urge is tempting, specifically because they called out the fact that you can resist. And I do find the idea of playing a naturally evil character and forcing them to be good kind of appealing. <laughs> But no, I think I'm pretty well set on what my first character is going to be. I think I am going to do the, uh, what you call it. Oh, there's a thing here. I am going to do the paladin monk. I don't know whether I'm going to start as a monk and then switch over to paladin, or if I'm going to abandon Laurel and mine. Nice. Or if I'm going to start as a, a paladin and then switch to monk. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just... Okay. Oh, yeah, that pretty much nails it. It This is a uh, Yiga Clan facility now. Okay, that's, that's okay. That's fine. What is with this guy? Hello? Authorizer verified. Welcome. This was once a busy refinery where a great deal of zonite was processed. My task here is to manage designs for mining equipment. Please hold one moment. I have confirmed that there is a schema stone you do not yet have. Allow me to rectify that. Oh, nice! The new design has been registered with AutoBuild. I will also prepare the parts required to test it via AutoBuild. That will be kind of cool. I like how they're going to make it progressively harder to resist the urges. Yeah, I actually missed that point, but that is cool. That is very cool. Now, I wonder if that's just because they rank, they, they crank up the temptation value, or if it actually is like you get harder and harder penalties to die rolls to resist. I hope it's just they make it really tempting. Authorizer verified. Welcome. I am a forge construct. I process zonite, zonite here into other materials. These are materials that have been processed from the ore. I am willing to accept zonite in exchange for processed materials. All of them catch my interest. Well, mostly the charges. Oh, nice. We're getting new battery stuff. We're getting lots of new battery stuff. Perfect. Thank you. Now, um, no. We need to mark that. What do you mean I can't place any more pins? Shenanigans, I say. Fine, I will place it manually then. Be that way.
apparently you're actually going to have to roll on temptations and the rolls do get harder. Uh, that's... Honestly, I don't blame them. But it does kind of suck. Another reason why I per pro personally won't play it, the dice hate me. Well, that's why you, you make your dark urge somebody that has classes and whatnot that are appropriate to your... You know, your background and all that kind of stuff. You can kind of stack the deck against the stacked deck die rolls by making sure that you have a hefty supply of inspiration so that when the dice don't go your, ro your way, you can re-roll them pretty continually. I want to see what's going on here. This looks very much like it is. Uh, let's, is this, this going to be some kind of trap? There don't seem to actually be any Yuga clan members here. And they've got some powerful Poe stuff just hanging around, being all tempting like. That's true. I'm going to take quite a while to properly build my character, I think. I'm pretty new to all of this, so a lot to consider. Yeah. Okay, it looks like there should be another one over here. We're going to have to go check out this, because this is definitely a mine. So we're going to keep going east. Where's east? East is this way. Is it not? Yeah, it is. I'm not seeing a light route. Oh. Let's go grab that. Ancient observation deck. That's a little different. Nice. Okay. I will take that gladly. I will play characters who are mischievous and to some degree criminal, but definitely not outright evil. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. I can be pretty okay with theft in games, but that's about as far as I will go. I say that, but then I also typically have no problem playing assassin characters, so I don't know. <laughs> you can read into that what you will. specifically shaped rock. Yeah. Huh. 
Okay, here we have a mine. Tuft Canyon Mine. Cap of the Hero. According to legend, this cap was once treasured by an ancient hero. It's quite the simple cap, yet there's something about it that's just so appealing. All right, you know, boo. You know what to do. Where'd you go? Uh, nothing more? Wow. That was a disappointing one. I guess I wouldn't say all assassins are outright evil, but I guess the one being assassinated might not agree. Yeah, the way I tend to look at it or justify it in my head is that uh, usually if I'm playing something like... Well, actually, it's probably less true with Assassin's Creed, but with something like, say, Hitman. It's typically not Agent 47's choice who's dying and why. He's just the weapon being used. Now, Assassin's Creed is a little bit different. I really don't have any particular justification for that. Other than it's fun. Oh, where'd you go? Hello, sir. Hello. Yenobu? You know, there you go. Thank you. Oh, that was a better one. Okay. They are very useful in this game. This game is basically everything I really love about Tears of the Kingdom, or uh, Breath of the Wild, rather, only cranked up to the nth degree. It's really incredible. Okay, I think we got that one. Is there anywhere else that looks promising for getting ore? Okay, no, I think that might be it for this mine. For the moment, at least, anyway. I'm gonna see if I can find that light route. There's gotta be one around here. Well, 
That's interesting. What is that? Oh, okay. It's a building thingy. see anything that direction. No, that's just all the way to the wall. interesting. Ah, okay. I couldn't see the tree. Or mushroom, or whatever the heck this is. Gotta be light roots around somewhere. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, we gotta keep an eye out for more of these, the uh, negotiator stones or whatever they're called, bargainer stones, I think that's it, they're bargainer stones. Okay, so we got those guys there. We got a lot of gloom over here. Oh, and a root. Roots are always fun. This means I have to find and eliminate something. Can 
Okay, we can get rid of that pin temporarily. I see you. Wait, is... Is that not... I think that's the same one. Interesting. That means if we go here and just dip down here, that'll probably be really easy to reach. Hey, Anstara, how's it going? Hey, Aranor, what's going? Bargainers, yeah, everyone's all cool. Lank is talking to a statue again. <laughs> that that fits. How are you feeling today, Aranor? I hope everything's going better. I hope, Anstara, you're doing well, too. I'm tired today. I was up way too late last night watching Greenie play Celasta. I think he's probably finished the game unless he came to his senses and got some sleep. <laughs> Hopefully he did, but he was awfully close to the end of the game when I took out. Like, he was probably less than an hour away from finishing. Okay. GI issues for the last few days? Oh no. Uh, got to the doctor about your hand, just severely strained. Will take a few months. Oh, that really sucks. At least it's not worse. At least it will heal. That's gotta be a relief. Meta Canyon Mine. And there's the light route. Considering the doctor I was seeing was about a possible surgery if it was bad enough, yeah, just taking time is good news. Yeah, I don't blame you. The idea of surgery on my hands just freaks me out because there are so many ways that that can come back to haunt you. Okay, what the... What the heck was that? Oh, wait, these are lava flows. Are we starting to get back... No, we're nowhere near Goron territory. What the heck? What is with this lava? Are we gonna need our hot weather gear? Nice. Very nice. Okay, so that's here. That's where we came down. The mine itself is up here, so that's where we're going next. Because there should be a chest there, and that'll have something.
Okay. Actually, there's a pretty decent amount of mining to be done right here. Even without the mine. It's weirding me out that we've got so much lava around here, though, and that I don't need the heavy-duty heat protection gear. Meta Lava Falls. What is with Meta up above ground? Mount Rosudo. Bremen Peak made a mountain. Koto Pond. Yeah, see, I don't get any real sense of volcanism around here. Well, I guess sometimes you just never know. Oh. Maybe I do need the gear. Fine. Five and a half minute warning, guys. We're going to be taking a break in about five and a half minutes. Of course, there's no Vulcans. It's Zelda, not Star Trek. <laughs> Fair. You're not wrong. Between that and the amount of extra uh, zonite that I've collected, I might be able to get another two energy wells very shortly. I've already got enough for one. Greeny, how's it going? It's good to see you. We were actually just talking about you. Did you manage to finish uh, Celesta last night? I was sad to have to duck out before the end, but... I didn't get much sleep as it is. I couldn't stay up any later and get even less. You did! Congratulations! That is awesome. It was a nice campaign. That is great. That is really great. Alright, what do we got? Looks like the mine extends out this way a little bit. Yeah, we got some more deposits out here. Damn it. Okay, well. That's alright. I've got another one. That might be one out there, too. Final series of encounters was very heavy on resource mechanics management, like seven battles in a row with no long resting. Oh, my God. But you did it. That's pretty impressive. Two short rests and one arcane recovery worked out for you? That's really cool. That's very cool. Two minute warning, guys.
That's how the book says to do an adventure day? Yeah. Not you. That's not gonna help. There we go. Yep, okay. I think we should definitely be able to get another couple of energy wells shortly. Nothing there. Nothing there. Alright. So that's probably it for this area. Uh, it looks like there should be a light route here, probably in this area here, north of the, the wall area. So we can take a look at that at some point soon. Hey, Hammer. Seven fights in a sing single day long rest is a real gauntlet in D&D. It is. It is. It looks like it is now also time for me to take my uh, break. So if you guys will bear with me, I'm going to go and make myself some more coffee. So if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, now's a really good time to do it. And I'll meet you back here in a few minutes. Something's moving something around here. Some kind of... Oh, that's a spider. Get out of here. You know, I'm actually starting to regret even putting on level 1 arachnophobia. The eight legs are kind of a nice giveaway that, hey, there's a spider. Glorious battle it was. Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, um. Whoops. <laughs> oh no! Actually, hang on. Confidently, you cast the calm spell. Why, how cute. You cast the calm spell and the monster visibly relaxed. Why, now it's calmly and relaxedly ripping you to shreds and eating you. <sighs> you should have studied harder. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, serves you right. I was just about to run him over, too. Okay. Here we go. Reach my frickin' location. Right. Coming. Oh. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> yeah. 
Now you can reach my location, can you? You were stuck on one tiny little thing. Oh. Yeah, I guess that should have been fairly obvious that I needed to wait until he was actually there. I guess I didn't really need that helicopter specifically. I don't know about you. Myself, I'm not expecting this to all be over until about 18 months from now. Maybe 17 now. Thank you so much for playing, but you've doomed the whole human race. Yep. Yep. These games, they, they will mock you viciously for failure. What in the world? This is why you're gotta be very careful tossing pebbles into wells. You might accidentally create a volcano. Looks like the water might be too shallow for the water wheel. Uh oh, are they hungry? Maybe this is more like Vanished than I thought. Oh god, they're out of food. Okay, this is definitely reminding me a little bit more of Vanished. Didn't you used to be a used chip salesman? Well, yeah. But I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Besides, I thought she was still weirded out that the librarian is now a woman. Oh, whoa. Temple Guardian. Calcium cost. Nope. <laughs> okay, that's a new combat technique I had never considered before. Okay, I am back. Looks like there should be another uh, light route in here somewhere, but this is where I was when I teleported out. Thank you, Anstara. I'm glad Baldur's Gate 3 balanced it by putting a cap of two short rests per long rest at tabletop. Other considerations would normally keep people from napping for an hour after every fight, like time constraints or whatever. In a video game, it can be a different story. Yes, that's true. Subplayers and DMs view random encounters in an adventure as time wasters, yet well-designed random encounters can serve a variety of useful purposes. Drain character resources. Random encounters can drain a party's hit points and spell slots, leaving the adventurers feeling underpowered and vulnerable. This creates tension as players are forced to make decisions based on the fact their characters aren't at full strength. Yes. I would agree with that. Okay, I think we will just head off in the direction of this then. And see what we can find. Huh? 
Oh, so that's actually just a very small area where you happen to need the lava gear. Interesting. Oh, Greeny. I found the cap of the hero. That's all I've found so far. I haven't been playing for very long today, but I, I found that. more like an encampment than anything. Let's keep going. Oh, that looks like a wall of gloom. That's fun. Floria Canyon Mine. Oh, a mine sounds good, though. Definitely getting at least two more. Two more energy bells. That'll be pretty cool. I'm not actually mining specifically as my stated goal. I'm more looking for light routes so that I can identify shrines. But this is really doing wonders for my energy battery level. Dungeon Master's Guide is really actually nice. Yeah, I believe it. I've read enough of it to know a bit of what you mean. Actually, I think I've read pretty much the entire thing. It's just been a while, so I don't remember a lot of the stuff offhand. Oh, that was a nice one. Especially for a single hit. Where are you? There you go. Oh, it was to make up for the fact that that one's pure garbage. Okay. Wow. Really was pure garbage. That one's awfully well lit. I wonder if that's the one that I tossed the seed down from the uh, canyon wall somewhere. I don't see any other stuff that I put down recently, though. Unfortunately, it kind of looks like we have to go right past them. Let's maybe stealth up a little.
Um, no. Can we not engage, please? Take that. spear. I'd really be more in the market for a sword or hammer or something. was not what I had in mind. Oh, hello. Blue Henox. Imagine being the person who had to place all the Poe. <laughs> I've done similar work in the past. I don't really, I, I have to imagine it but not by much. Oh, I have a blue Henox picture. Okay. Probably not as good as this one. I actually wonder if they did have somebody that had to place all the Poe. 
That's the kind of thing that these days I would almost expect to be placed more procedurally. Maybe you've got a person that goes around and says, okay, there should be Poe over here, there should be Poe over here, there should be Poe over here, but the individual ones are placed randomly. Except for specific, like, you know, the large Poe and the grand Poe, those would probably be placed more by hand. Or it's entirely possible they did have somebody going around individually placing every single one, too. Okay, so we're going more that away. Let's see if I can get through here without getting too much. Damn it. Nope. Okay. Well, <sighs> maybe I'll take advantage of some of this crap then. Oh. Stop. No. No. Oh, God. At least I landed outside of the gloom. Oh, that's... Not what I was looking to see. Hey, Red Fox, how's it going? Oh, crap. Actually, that's a better picture. shoot. Oh, crap. Oh, I think I've gone the wrong way. Uh, I didn't see it. That's weird. It's not showing up in the event list. I appreciate the sub, though. Maybe you might have to refresh, Red Fox. You might have to refresh. Sometimes it doesn't go through. Uh, at least not visibly. Like, we won't actually see it or get the alert or anything if you don't refresh the browser and do the share the sub thing. Let's go back over here. We're going to have to kind of hug the wall a little bit, I think. Because otherwise we've got a very long... There you go. Thank you so much, Red Fox. It's so good to see you again. Thank you for a full year's worth of Prime sub support. That is amazing. I really appreciate it. Here you are. Okay, so this time we want to go... Southeast-ish. So let me just switch out my clothes here. How are you doing, Red Fox? I hope everything is you know, I hope everything is going well for you. Fine, but weather, lots of rain and cloud here. Yeah. It's been a little bit rainy here, too, but 
I will take that over what we had before, where it was just absolutely stinking hot. Especially the day before yesterday. Uh, it turns out the air conditioner is broken. <laughs> so, a really hot day with a broken air conditioner. I'm not going to say it was the worst thing in the world. I'm sure there are a lot of people out there with, uh, you know, situations that were a lot worse. But it was definitely uncomfy. <laughs> So that still needs to be fixed. Luckily, it's not as hot now, and uh, the people were able to come in and they were able to take care of the problem on a temporary basis. Just got to wait on a more permanent solution to it. Which will hopefully be up to, like, maybe less than a week, if I'm lucky. But, oh, did I miss... A whole big... Wow. Nice. You know, boo. You know what to do. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so hopefully in a week, it'll be properly fixed the way it should be. I'm just hoping it stays cooler until then. Because right now it's not so bad. It's like 24 and cloudy today. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, do you have a... I, I, I've got a, an actual, like, separate dehumidifier. And there is a dehumidifier in the air conditioning system as well. In fact, when I mentioned a couple days ago, like before discovered that we needed a new part for the actual air conditioner itself, when there was the water leak, it was the dehumidifier, the reservoir for the condensation in the dehumidifier that was leaking. So the whole thing has just been acting up, but it doesn't seem like it's too, too bad. It just needs a little bit of maintenance after nearly 20 years of operation. So apparently the Canada haze has finally reached down this far south. Really? I haven't even thought about it in a long time, honestly. We had it bad for a few days. And then I haven't really had to think about it since because it hasn't been a thing in my part of Canada. I am sorry to hear that you're now being affected, though. Okay, so we want to go north of this. Wait, what is... That's probably trees. Okay. I'm almost out of giant bright bloom seeds again. We bounce between orange and red alerts. Yuck. Gotta stop doing that. <laughs> I 
That's very unfortunate. He's kind of in the middle of my nice clear pathway. How about we not stab the frogs? That sounds like a better plan to me. through there. Okay, that is a very big drop. Okay, so we want to go more this away. Oh, what do we have here? Get back up. Love how much gloom there is. Looks like what we're looking for. Yeah.
Okay, so it kind of looks like we might have to drop back down and go up again to get over there. Uh, maybe not too much. Here we are. Nice. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Now that's a very interesting thing just to the northwest of us. I wonder what that is. It looks very Yiga. to get there though uh hmm I don't see any representation of this wall on the map that's weird. Unless maybe it's something you can only get to from that side and the rest of it's too high up. I don't know. Oh, 
I say we poke around the edges as much as we can and see if we can work our way around to that side while finding light routes in the distance in other directions to the best of our ability. Speaking of, that would be one there. It's not even too far away. get rid of the other pin? We did not. Oh, well, it didn't look like it was too far away. Another obsidian frogs? How many of those things are there? The answer is too many. Entirely too many. Nice. Okay, that definitely looks like that's a wall. So that's why we can't get there. Because that's kind of just showing through the wall. And I think this is the only entrance. So I guess the implication is that it's kind of a cutout from the wall. And we have to be at the actual entrance to get in there. Huh? 
How's the map looking? Okay, so we're kind of doing a number on the southern areas. That's pretty good. That looks like it could be... Is that a mine or is... I don't know, that's interesting looking. Might have to take a wander over there. I just realized I don't have an axe. I can't assert my dominance over these trees. Which will suck if any of them happen to come alive and try to murder me. trees are alive. That is not true. Once they die, they're no longer alive. Dead trees exist. And they'd murder you if you could. See, for example, Valheim. I can't dispute that part. That's <laughs> certainly true. It's going pretty good, Sketchy. How are you doing? Doing great, I am very glad to hear that. There are no dead trees, just wasted kindling. <laughs> okay, that's fair. I can accept that. Greeny might object. Recycling. Okay. That's fair. I guess once the tree is no longer alive, it's served its purpose and needs to be recycled back into the environment. And with trees, that actually often does mean burning. There are some types of trees that can't germinate unless they've been through fire. It's part of the natural life cycle. That looks like a sword. That's what I was looking for. Nice. All right. 
You fake trees, come at me now, I dare you. If I could, I'd set up a full charcoal kiln and make my own and capture all the stuff, like the gases and stuff that come off. Really? What kind of stuff would you be capturing? Ah, crap. Again? Yes. Spirit Temple, the Vessel of Spirit's Resting Place. Wait, Temple? So this is like the Fire Temple and the Air Temple? There's five of them? Well, apparently I was lying through my teeth then. I am not halfway done the game. At least not by the temple metric. This is a thing that happens later in the story. Okay, so I'm not going to go here right now then. But it's good that I've got it marked, because that will make it much easier to find it again later. Also, that looks very much like another light route. Where is that? Oh, that's way up there. Okay. That will probably be easiest to get to from the Arusakam light route. Let's go there. Can't do anything here? Yeah, that's, that's okay. I really wasn't searching for an extra temple that I didn't know existed. I was just... I'm basically, I'm just trying to up my energy wells so that I can find the uh, the light routes more easily. And by finding the light routes more easily, I can find more shrines and get more videos up. So we're going to do some light route hunting for a little while. Then later on, we're probably going to switch and go back to the sky. See if we can find more of those really fun crystal temples, shrines, things that I enjoy doing so much. When making charcoal, you get wood gas, which is a fuel, and wood tar resin, and pyroligenous acid, which is used as liquid smoke. Oh, that's really cool. Even if I can't pronounce half of what you just said. But that's okay. Did you know if you try and 
Say Gord McLeod backwards, the Highlander theme plays and you enter a sword battle as there can be only one. I've heard that before. I guess nobody's ever really tried it though, because I've never had to duel them, so it's uh, firmly classified as mere rumor at the moment. This way to try to maintain altitude in case we have to climb up to the light route because I do recall it was a little bit higher up. Not sure what was causing that music. Oh, shoot. In World War II, they had cars and trains that ran on wood gas. Oh, wow. So when I say it's a nice fuel, that's the level could probably run a generator with it. That's really cool. Four and a half minute warning, guys. We have a break coming up in four and a half minutes. Oh, that would be our light route. No, that would not be our light route. That's a different light route altogether. Let me free up another pin here. Uh, we can probably ditch that one for now. I'm not going after that for a while. Nice. Okay. There's just camps all over the place over here. Did we just enter mining territory? That sounds like fun. It's probably more ahead of me than back here, but let's light the area up regardless. Uh, 
Uh, that looks like that could be part of it. Oh, no, that's a building area. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing, Calendry? It's really good to have you here. I hope you're doing well. Yeah. I think we'll focus on the light room. Then once the area is properly lit, it'll be very easy yeah. to find the mine, especially with it on the map. Doing well, eyes are still becoming undilated from my ophthalmology appointment, but otherwise it's a good day. I am very glad to hear that. I'm just up for a, a very chill Zelda stream today. I was up far too late last night watching most of the end of Greeny stream where he finished Celesta, which was a lot of fun. Maybe too much fun, because I didn't get to bed nearly early enough, and I'm suffering for it today. But that's okay, because Zelda's also really fun, and that's making up for a lot. Uh, we do have ads starting in less than a minute, though, so I need to get to some place where I can stand and take a break. Hopefully, maybe stand up. Are we not going to be standing? Oh, shoot. Oh, this looks promising. Maybe. No. Crap. I suppose I have any food. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you guys in suspense. We'll see if I make it when I get back in just a moment. So if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time to do it. And I'll meet you back here in three and a half to five. What the hell was that? Sit back and enjoy the ride. <laughs> oh boy. Um. A little bit of a bumpy road with dragon skeletons everywhere. No problem. I'm okay if they just want to stay there. That lets me regain a bit of magic. I hate you guys. It's time for a hard reset. Oh my god. Well. That's a hell of an intro. Not so fast. There we go. That's the first time in either of these games that I've actually successfully caught the car. That's, I'm impressed at that. That's pretty cool. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be the great hero of the liberation and all that crap, but come on. Sorry. Sorry. 
he looked at me funny. What can I say? Okay, Uthgird, I'm gonna need you to be real careful here. No. <sighs> you try and warn them. Oh, that looks like Terrytown. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 gimme. You're in a passage. You're in a maze of twisty little passages, all alike. Okay, we have damage. Whoa! Uh... Excuse me? I've never had that, that happen before. Holy crap. I'm starting to think that maybe I should not have brought the Cyclops down here. Bree once more. My driven acquaintance. She's my acquaintance. Saga has been released from her imprisonment at the hands of King Cossetin and is once again free. I have released your acquaintance from my prison to serve as my concubine, the foul fiend. Okay, I am back. Thank you. Oh, right. I can't throw light things because we're still in the middle of climbing. Oh, that looks like an edge. And I have bonus stamina. Oh, okay. Not today. Man, how high up do we have to go? Hey, Jared, how's it going? Thank you, everybody. Actually, it looks like it's more that way, but it's got to still be up, right? climbing that wall. I think that's going to be better. Wait a second. How can I be past it now? This doesn't make sense. So this is a wall. I'm climbing the wall up to the river, which means this goes right to the ceiling what the heck where's the light route
Thank you, Kellenary. Really nice stream to watch. Oh, that's right. I forgot you mentioned that last night in Greeny's stream. Happy birthday, Jarek. Enjoy the pizza. It makes perfect sense. How are you doing, Grogu? It probably does make perfect sense, but it doesn't make perfect sense yet. Yeah. I am so confused. What the heck? Enjoy the lurk, Jarek. Um, let's get back up here so I can actually use archery. The thing that gets me is I saw the actual light route. This is so weird. But where did I see it is the question. See, this is potentially promising, because this is not right on the wall. But it looks like we've already been here somewhere.
This is the weirdest light route I've had to try to find so far. Okay, this is promising. This is at least something. that at all. White maned Lionel? Could have done without that part. Really could have done without that part. Okay, so we've managed to backtrack all the way almost into lit up space again. What the heck? Oh, I did not mean to throw that really close to Lionel, dude. Um... How do we get past him? I guess, first of all, we probably not want to be shining like a beacon. That seems like a bad idea. There it is. Okay. I found it. We got it. Thank you, Gallinari. There we go. Light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Now, unfortunately, it does not look like it has revealed any kind of mine. Well, actually, that might be a mine. It's a little small, but it might be a mine. 
Not sh oh, and actually, I stand corrected. Dueling Canyon's mine right there. Okay, and that's pretty darn close to this one over here too, so that's good. So let's go this way, away from our Lionel friend, and we'll see if we can get to that mine. And the other light route. I kind of like how this game has got the interplay of the different levels of world. How you have to do stuff in the underdark that affects the overworld and... I haven't noticed quite as much interaction with the sky realm yet. Get him. Get him. Ow. Okay, they got him too. But I haven't done a lot of the Sky Realm stuff. The Sky Islands. There's probably more interaction that I haven't just stumbled across yet. But there does seem to be something of a gameplay loop between the Underdark and the Surface Realm. Have I done that one yet? Yeah, it looks like I have. Oh, well, I'm going to assume that that's that light route. So yeah, I would have done that one. That's a long way down. Enjoy your lurk, Aranor. I can't, wouldn't even guess that there's a mine down there if the map weren't showing it. I think we're going to make our way to the other light route first and then we'll make our way back to it. Oh, hang on. Oh, I don't think that's going to work. That's on the other side of the wall. Crap. No, we're probably going to have to go here. Oh, I guess that we're not going there. Okay, uh, we might as well just go do the mine now then, because we're not crossing that wall, that's for sure. Tunic of the Hero! Legend has it this armor was once cherished by a hero from ancient times. Its design is rather simple, but it's such a traditional look. Now that's a very familiar looking set. That's two of the three pieces I've got. Yeah, I just need the leggings now. No, armored never breaks in this game. Your weapons break. Your armor never does. Yeah. Hmm. 
And in this game, unlike Breath of the Wild, there are ways to strengthen your weapons to make them break less often. Oh, what am I doing? That's silly. You know, boo. Smash. Thank you. Nice. Okay. So that's a good start for this mine. I know, it's shocking, Grogu. There's no way to make your weapons completely unbreakable, but you can make them last longer. Come on, you know, boo. beginning. That's a bit better. Okay, now, if we did want to get down here and do that one, how are we going to do that? Looks like this is going to be key. Okay, so we want to go see if we can go through there. I don't know what this darker gray is supposed to represent. Oh, it's water. Okay. Okay, straight ahead, more or less. Come on. Just in case any of the trees get ideas.
Okay, so that's a solid wall. Let's go around. Most of these seems like like uh, legit trees. So that's good. I still don't trust them though. So we're gonna stick with the axe for the time being. What the heck? Thank you so much for the follow. Very much appreciate it. Welcome on into the Library of Lore. You are now officially a lore seeker. Okay, so we've got water down there. Oh, oh, interesting. They can't grow on or in water. And it's hard to be sure from this distance, but it kind of looked like the seed floated back up to the surface again. Fair, how are you doing? It's good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. Okay, looks like we want to be cutting over this way. wonder if I should try to make a boat. Doesn't seem worth it, though. Oh. Too much into the water. Oh, I think I'm mistaken. I think the seed is just lost. Yeah, you don't get it back. Okay. Oh, it's gone. Actually have the chance to catch some midday streams, so you figured you would? Excellent. It's wonderful to have you. like the light route up ahead. that way over there. That was quite a drop off. Oh, 
Oh, what the hell? I'm not sure I trust that. Oh, there's another light route. So we've got one right here, too, that I hadn't accounted for. So that one's probably the one I've got marked. And this one, I'm pretty certain, is not marked at all. Two for special, exactly. Oh, so there's another one back there, too. Light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. So there has to be one right in here. That looks very much like it might be one of the temples. Construct factory? What? What is this? This is awesome. I, I'm still not entirely certain I trust it, but it's awesome. to explore a little bit. We are contractually obligated. Oh, hello. Gotcha. 
This is a great area. I like it. Hello, sir. What's up? Welcome to the Construct Factory. I cannot remember how long it has been since I welcomed any visitors. Yes, parts delivered here from the depots are assembled into crafter constructs. The finished products produced here are shipped to Dragonhead Island. My task here is to confirm receipt of the parts shipped from the depots. I then oversee the task of ensuring they are correctly assembled. Currently, all work processes have work processes have been suspended, as have my duties. The issue seems to be that no parts are being sent from the depots. I am on standby here to take receipt of them in the event that shipping resumes. Okay, interesting. Mighty zone. Oh my god, level 50? Can we keep... Oh, there was another chest. Captain 3 Reaper. How much higher up does this go? Hard to say. Cool. Okay, how's it looking now? Nice. 
The light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. And it does look like there are facilities to the east. Though it's not exactly clear to look at them, exactly what those facilities are. Jerk. Get him, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Man, they even included delivery. Okay, this doesn't look like your typical mine. be something of a mine. What is this? This has to be a thing. Oh. Well, that would be our light route that we were going to go to. That looks like a pretty easy straight shot from over here. I'm not sure if I want to climb up. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what that is. That's one of those solid columns that you can use to transport right up to the surface, isn't it? Okay, so if that's the case, I think what we want to do now, then, is head straight over for that light route there. Right leg depot? What? Oh, yeah, there's the bottom of it. That is exactly what that is. That goes straight up, and you can use ascend to get to the surface. What the heck is Right Leg Depot? 
gonna worry about that right now. We'll worry about that later. We need to get over to the light route. So I think I'm gonna go land on one of these trees. Probably this one and grab the Po. the best way to get through this minefield. Probably that way will do. About seven minute warning, guys. We're going to be taking another break in about seven minutes. There we go. Look at that. Blue Henox right there. Oh, crap. Our buddies. Still trying to attack? What's going on? I should probably also look at healing. Well, they're still back there. So it looks like there's a thing here. I'm not sure if that's... Uh, if that is indeed a mine or not. Might be worth finding out. There was also the matter of that right leg depot. What the heck is that supposed to mean? Oh! Oh, I get it. Construct factory. Depots. So you have to get specific depots for specific parts of the construct that it's going to manufacture. That's interesting. Okay. So presumably there will also be a left leg, a right arm, a left arm, possibly a torso and maybe a head? I don't know. But... That sounds like it's going to be roughly what it's going to be like. I have no gloom food, do I? Okay, we're going to have to antagonize them again. Or let's go around this way and maybe not. Oh, no, we did. Okay, it's fine.
Okay, so I don't know. I don't know what the deal is here. Whether that's part of the depot or just cosmetically part of it or completely unrelated. Oh, they're still kind of on my trail. Oh, we don't need that pin anymore. I'm gonna head over there. We are gonna have to hit the Sky Island soon, though. I do want to actually do some shrines, and while this is exceptionally helpful for finding shrines, I want to do more than just find them. Okay, so it looks like we gotta go this way. What is that up there? That's gonna be an encampment. Aha! Uh -huh. Light route right ahead. Let's just keep our distance from these guys, especially while I'm glowing like a torch. Oh, those are creepy looking mushroom things. I don't trust this. Let's do this, or maybe consider doing this after we've got the light route up, he says as he blows another sand pile away completely. <laughs> yeah. That looks a little too much like it's an arena or you know, combat staging area.
Maybe. So how's everyone doing today? I hope you've all had a good week so far. Oh, very nice. Lightroot dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Okay, how are we looking... Okay, so there are some shrines. I have not found a shrine right here. So there's got to be one in there. That's cool. Oh. Oh, crap. Guys, I apologize. Ads are in progress. I'll be right back. I'm not sure who I'm in danger from. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that was kind of perfect. Get back here! What the fuck? Okay, I wasn't expecting the song. <laughs> creepy. Wow, okay. You don't see that every day. It is so cruel. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I completely spaced on the timing there. Now, let's see what we're dealing with here. Thank you, Aranar. Let's see if I can get a two for one. Thank you, Enstara. Yep, okay, you can do it.
Oh, didn't quite get that one. It was a little too far away, it looks like. Can't do anything there. And you can't climb these, which is kind of interesting in itself, actually. Hmm. Do not know. It's a shame they don't give you a question mark that you can put here. Okay, what's next? Making some pretty good progress on covering everything. I think maybe now is a good time to switch our attention, though. We've done an awful lot of stuff in the Underdark today, and I would like to do some other stuff. So we just have a tiny little bit more Underdark stuff to do. Spending all of this ridiculous amount of Zonite I've collected. Okay, that's two energy wells. Three energy wells. Uh, there was another one. Ah, yes. Luralin Mine had... Oh, but we already did the Luralin Mine one. Uh, was it Kakariko? Yes, Kakariko's got one. Four energy wells. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. I think that's it for the Underdark for now. Let's go... I don't think that's quite where I wanted to go. Not quite. Not quite.
Uh, we wanted to be more here. I was just hoping to get two energy wells. Getting four is going to be a massive boost. That's really awesome. That's a whole battery and then some. And since I've already got two, that's going to be... I'm, I'm completing two whole batteries. Finishing off the last bit of the one I've got going now. And just outright filling up a whole new one. Get producing, please. Seven full now. Okay. Now, let's see. We are going to not need this anymore. We're going to go with that and probably stealth gear for the rest. So where do we need to work up here? Looks like we've done a lot of the northern stuff. Except for Akala. We haven't done a lot in Akala. There's more to do up in Akala. Ullery Mountain Skyview Tower. Um, let's see if we can make our way over this way. I kind of suspect maybe we are not going to be able to do it, though. Not without some sort of vehicle. Yeah, we're already too low. Okay. Maybe Akala is not for us right now. Now, I do think there was some stuff over here. I hadn't quite finished. Maybe. That's the Wind Temple. And we certainly haven't done this. Let's maybe just quickly pop over there. Oh, it's kind of cold. Okay. Who'd have figured? Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. It's a shrine right there. But how do we get over there? Nope. Stop it, Link. I suspect that's probably not going to be the way. 
wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wings, lead, fan, and light. So it does have fans. Just gonna make a quick vehicle and fly over. I think that's what it's gotta be. I'm going to call that close enough. We'll see how well it works. Now I need a steering stick. I'm starting to get low on those. Hey, Bob, how's it going? Good to see you. Oh, crap. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, no. North Lome Castle, top floor. <laughs> and it's that time again. I don't understand, Aaron Lar. I don't see why you would say that. Or why they would have any kind of a problem. Crap. Got it. Okay. 
Whoa. Uh, that was much more wildly successful than I expected. <laughs> Bloodstained moon shines upon the land. The endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Yeah, I'm not sure I've ever actually seen a full episode of Animaniacs. So I would not get that. Oh, this is a... L no wonder I flew up so high. It's a low gravity area. Well, I guess it worked out in the end. Ten Bez Shrine, Hebra Mountain Sky. This was back when networks had to have some education in their cartoons by law. Wow. Gravity and Velocity, Ten Bez Shrine. This looks fun. Goblin arms? Okay, we're gonna waste these guys. Uh, so I can switch gravity. All right. So we want normal gravity for this transfer. Now we want low gravity for that. Very nice. And now I guess we want to keep low gravity so that that goes right up through there and presumably we need that for something. And then we also want low gravity so that we can follow it. Except now I don't seem to have the thing. Okay. Oh. Oh, God, this is tricky. Okay, hang on. I get it, though, I think. Let's wait till the ball comes here. Ah, oh, 
<laughs> I like this one. This is good. This is fun. It requires timing, but it's fun. There we go. Very nice. I love it. Oh. Crap. Okay, hang on. Now I need gravity back again. Or, sorry, lack of gravity. Yeah, this is a good one, Greeny. I really like this one. We have to get the chest, though. Resist the urge to accidentally use it wrong, which is to say to use it. I keep wasting them instead of putting them in dispensers like you're supposed to. Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You've done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Light of Blessing, a crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. May the Light of Blessing grant you the strength you seek. Okay, let's have a look at this. Hmm, access denied, huh? <clears throat> you who set foot in this labyrinth of the sky. Go to the labyrinth of the land. Deep within its corridors, a dragon ring sleeps, awaiting the one who will wake it. Okay. I actually didn't really particularly want to do the labyrinth right now anyway, especially a low-gravity sky one, because I was kind of thinking that would be something you'd want to do after you get the paragliding suit. Oh, nope. Wrong, Link. So maybe we'll uh, actually start searching out parts of the paragliding suit then. I think Greeny has intimated that they are somewhere in the sky, which makes total sense. So we'll just keep doing sky stuff. Which kind of works, because that's what I would wanted to do anyway. Okay, let's get the express ride downwards. It's etched with ancient Hyrulean text. You cannot read it. Oh, is this one not going to plunge down to the ground? All right, then. 
last one of these I found, the first one of these that I found, took an express ride right down... Where was that one? It was... Somewhere over here. Like it may have fallen right directly through here. Maybe not. I don't remember, but there's one that I found that it just dropped straight into a chasm into the Underdark from the Sky Islands. <clears throat> some of them fall, some do not. Okay, yeah. That, that tracks with what we've just found. Okay, um, well... Let's try the Gerudo Highlands. I don't think I've done much of anything in the sky over that way. There's a Death Star there. That's potentially promising. I don't know if we're going to make that. We might have to go over here. What the heck was that? I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Oh, wait a minute. We're in low gravity. How did that happen? We're barely falling at all. Did I gain a new ability I'm not aware of or something? This is just a low gravity area. Okay. Well, I will not complain until it makes me fall off the edge and, you know, uh, fall to my doom or to my minor inconvenience, as the case may be. Okay. Didn't take me as far as I was hoping it might. Hmm. 
We'll see how long this uh, low gravity area extends, I suppose. So far, so good, though, I gotta say. As long as my stamina holds out. Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess that's what that meant. That's what that was. It was entering and leaving the low gravity zone. And because we've lost the low gravity zone, I no longer think we're gonna have what it takes to make it over there, sadly. And even if we had enough speed, I don't think I've got the stamina for it. No, okay. Ooh. Oh, I wish I could make that. Do I have any stamina food? I don't have any stamina food. Crap. I do believe that's one of the cherry trees you need to find. Oh, no, there's two of them. It's probably not one of the right ones. Okay. So where did we end up? We're over here. Yeah, we well, we managed to go a reasonable way. But I bet we'd have an easier time if we started from here. Not sure where it was we were trying to get to. Uh, is it up? Maybe it's not much above us. This doesn't seem like the ideal place to have started. Oh. Wait a minute. Right there.
Okay. I, I'm not sure what I was expecting, but that wasn't it. Courage Island. Is it my imagination, or does this look like the beginning of an Assassin's Creed leap of faith? Perhaps because that's exactly what it is. That's cool. That's very cool. Unexpected shrine. Very nice. Oh, that's awesome. Now, have we been here before? We actually have not been here before. Portable pot, balloon, balloon, fan. Okay. <clears throat> Tawny Shrine. With a name like Courage Island, I kind of expect that this one is going to strip my gear and make me fight stuff. Probably a combat simulation. Oh, no, or maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, maybe I'm not mistaken. Combat training archery. I'm only mistaken about the stealing of gear thing. So, let's see. I'm going to use a better bow. Looks like we've got... Interesting. So they've got fans there. We're probably going to have to do aerial combat here, aren't we? This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. <clears throat> Draw your bow in midair to heighten your senses. Focus, target your enemy with an arrow, and release. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Okay. Well done. I probably wasted so many arrows. <laughs> Heighten your senses again, take aim, and defeat the enemies. Oh, 
That wasn't so bad. You have proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. I think I can ditch these stupid arms. Uh, how do I... There we go. Oh, actually I didn't want to drop that one, but that's okay. Give me the stick back. I'll take the Zonite sword. <coughs> Mighty Construct Bow. Well, I can certainly get rid of a regular Construct Bow for that. Visitor to this Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offered this light that will cleanse you of evil. One more and I can get two hearts. That's pretty nice. Okay, that was really cool. I like that. That was that was fun. I think we need to do some more of those. Should be someone to talk to? You are correct. He's right here. Greetings. Welcome. This is a site of a ceremony to test your courage. Courage is demonstrated by diving headlong through the sky. No challengers have visited this island in a long time. I am glad you have come. I witnessed your dive earlier. You seem to have come prepared. Now then, let us commence with the dive ceremony. Are you prepared? Could it be that you do not know of the dive ceremony? My apologies. Allow me to explain. The dive ceremony is a trial that tests your courage. It is a rite by which Zonai youth come of age. The starting position is the sky island far above here. The challenger leaps from there. They must pass through all the rings in a set amount of time. I wish you luck in formally overcoming the trial. Those who succeed receive a special outfit to mark adulthood. Go on. Show me your courage. Ah, I perhaps forgot to mention one thing. I require one Zonai charge as an offering. Our custom since long ago has been for participants in the ceremony to offer a Zonai charge to the island. No Zonai charges have been provided for many years. We are in short supply. Your cooperation would be appreciated. Then follow me to the starting position. Your task is to pass through all of the rings in 35 seconds or less. I'm not sure how long it took me the first time, but uh, we can give that a shot. Whoa, oh, nope. Gonna have to redo that one. You failed to pass through every ring. Please return to my position.
I regret to tell you that you did not pass through all the rings. This attempt is therefore disqualified. Will you attempt the ceremony again? Yes, let's do it. Luckily, he caught you before you actually landed. Yeah, I, I was coming down a little quick there. Got it. Your time is 24.23. I have borne witness to your courage. I have here the mark of your maturity. You have earned this. Yes. The cloth zone to this shirt helps it catch air, increasing the wearer's ability to glide while they plummet from the sky. I love the description. You may be able to beat the current record of 20 seconds. Will you attempt the ceremony again? Ah, what the heck. We'll use the fancy shirt that he gave us. Oh my god. Ooh, that is pretty nice. Uh, no, not quite. But that's a marked improvement. Your time was 22.01. Nice try. The trick to descending quickly is to dive as much as possible. Find your courage and accelerate as much as you dare. I wouldn't have done it even if I had hit the ring. I got slightly too greedy. New record, 19.58. You're right, paraglider, bad. Your time is 19.58. This is an astonishing new record. My records indicate that you are faster and braver than any previous challenger. I award this to you in honor of your extraordinary record. You have earned it. Nice. Please tell me your name. I will register you as the record holder. Understood, your name is Link. I have registered you as the record holder. Will you attempt the ceremony again now? That's good for now, I think. So now, where do you get the next parts of the outfit? Are there other Courage Islands that I need to visit? Lunk is a fast faller, yes.
Well, okay. Are there other similar islands to Courage Island? Okay, let's see. Um... Well, that looks awfully familiar. Where's the nearest tower to here? I guess probably there. Oh, two minute warning, guys. Ads beginning in two minutes. So I'll take a quick break. Uh, it'll actually, I shouldn't say a quick break. I'm going to take a slightly longer break because I need to make some tea. So that'll probably be the longest break of the stream. And then I'll be back before too long and we will carry on. Have you done quests in Tiflo Ruins? I am not certain. I don't remember. Stamina is running out a little bit. Very cl oh, you couldn't oh god, that's that's kinda rough, yeah. I can understand. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, what we got here are ads in progress. I will be back in a few minutes, folks. I guess this way it is. Now, where's this other guy? How did you not see me? How thin you alive. You leave her alone. This is such a quiet. Wow. No, I think we're gonna go with Galaxy unless Defiant is actually Defiant's not too bad. Let's stick with the Galaxy though. 
That looks good to me. Okay. Oh, crap. Uh, okay. Hang on a second here. Wait. Can I not fly it? Look, you may be our captain, but I don't have to like it. What? What? Please give a warm welcome to our new captain. They forced their way onto our ship and into our hearts. <laughs> What? This is not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> what the? This is a whole new area to explore. Guard. Guard. Arrest this man immediately. It's been a bit of a day. Lots of things going right. Lots of things going wrong. My airport is on fire. What the hell? Okay. I'm a little suspicious now. Uh, I quick saved, right? So... Yeah. All the living shall fear the dead. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Uthgard. That was perfect. I ought to be jealous of the nice. tower. She is more famous than I am. Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors until the storm has passed. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Okay, I should have given him a vibroblade a long time ago. If you'll pardon the phrasing, he's a frickin' beast with a vibro sword. Holy crap! Wow. What the hell? They really are like little head crabs. No. Uh, not before six. My wife is very insistent. Your target is down. Now head calmly towards an exit. Not perfect. But I'll take it. Where am I going to want to stop these? Whoops. A little before that. I'm right behind you. Say, did you promise to do anything for me? I am sworn to carry your burdens. That's what I thought. God damn it. 
how did I oh oh my god I should scan it first. oh shh its legs are glowing I think it's charging up oh oh my god Oh my god, these things are so terrifying! And now I'm locked into a cage match! Uh-oh. Oh! This is why we save. So apparently standing on the back of his hand alone is enough to do it. Would not have guessed at that. Ah, you. <laughs> Trying to deprive me of my. Oh! Oh, damn it, Serana! Oh my god. Feral Ghoul Horde? Oh my... Faked me out. Rude. Triple kill! None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. I'm bigger than him. I'm no bully. Mm. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. What? You idiot. This isn't very refreshing. I guess you forgot about our bottomless mug policy. Thank you. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Well, what's your name? Well, what's your name? My name is Mancom Seepgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? <laughs> Oh, oh damn it. Oh crap. Ah. I shouldn't have said anything. Ah. Oh god. Oh why? Chat, why?
Maybe if I run real fast, we can just clear right through there. Okay. Maybe not. Look at that, they're all different. Oh, I love it so much. Oh. This can't be the original entry room, can it? That's what I was just thinking, Greeny. This looks completely different. The lighting is so different. This is that trap room, isn't it? Where the gas comes out and everything's really dangerous. Traps. How considerate. Oh my god. The lighting makes such a huge difference. Holy crap, it looks so different. Oh, that's the ISS Enterprise F, I believe. Or is that the F or the E? No, that's definitely Odyssey class. I just suffered my first major tea-related accident of the stream's history. I'm a little bit burnt, but I'm okay. <laughs> Time for you to poof. Have a good one, Aaron Larm. I managed to spill two large mugs of tea. I've got a little bit left for later, but... Ugh. My hand is a little sore. Unfortunately, I did it pretty much within a minute or so of actually brewing it, so it was a bit hot. I administer this ceremony. It is diverting to pass the time by admiring the twinkling stars. Welcome to the dive ceremony. Are you ready to begin? The time is now for you to show your courage. Come test your mettle in the dive ceremony. First things first, we should perform a trial run of the course. Your goal is to go through all the rings. Do not worry about a time limit yet. I will show you the way. Register yourself at the terminal first, then we can begin. Hopefully this doesn't actually throw me off the game. Bravery Island. Huh. 
Oh, it moves. That's cheating. That's so rude. second guys Your superb technique suggests that you have done this before. I expect greatness from you in the real ceremony. Then the time has come for the dive ceremony, assuming you are ready. Good, there is an initial requirement of one zone I charge. Very good, I will show you to the start position. Get through all of the rings within 35 seconds. Let's try this again. record finished your time is 24.5 what an unbelievably magnificent showing this is proof of your maturity you have more than earned it glide tights nice you are faster and more courageous than any I have witnessed take this in honor of your incredible record I must register you as the record holder. Please state your name. Understood. I have registered Link as the current record holder. Do you want to make another attempt? No, I'm good. You may try again as often as you want. Okay, now is there... Yes, there is. There's a thing here. That's a lot of things. Flame emitter. Oh, construct heads and batteries. Ooh. This was a nice one to put the dual major things in. Okay, now let's do the shrine. Sima Sivak Shrine.
Oh, it's a darkness shrine. This shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. Proving grounds. Lights out. Wooden stick and two light shields. Oh, it's a freaking... Oh, God, it's a combat shrine with lights out. Oh, that's just... Ugh. At least I can see when they're attacking me. Oh, no. Don't do that, please. How is my light shield badly damaged? I've hardly used the thing. Oh, you mean... Oh, jeez. That's obnoxious. Wow. Equipment will be returned to you. Yeah, that was not bad. That was not bad. I don't know if I'm going to make it to 630, guys. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm not sure if there is a chest here. light things up at least. Okay, so it's mostly just flame emitters. <laughs> oh, whoops. That's fine. That, that's okay. I'm just a little on fire. Bright elixir. I don't know that I especially need that, but okay. Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place.
We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Okay, so that's that one done. Where's the next one likely to be? So we got that. See, that looks very notable, but... I suppose it could be something up there. That looks very dolphin-like. Guessing probably not here. That looks like a dive spot, but it doesn't have any of the other stuff I would associate with one. Guys, I have to go get some ice or something. I will be back in a few minutes. Sorry about this. Gotcha! Whoa! <laughs> the, mm, let's maybe not jump down quite that far. You for a little while. Wow, that looks so creepy. But I, I'm still kind of tempted to play them. Okay. Oh, maybe it'll come here. Okay, more locally to you then. Yeah, I... Oh. Whoops. Thanks, Auto Drive. Whoa! God damn it. How did I. Oh. Oh my god. Oh shh. I think it's charging up. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, these things are so terrifying! And now I'm locked into a cage match! Construct and interact with a castle heart. Expand your territory by placing borders. Oh my god. I've been running around this whole place and this is all that I've seen? Or 
Carbane Wood Way Gate. Um, that's a freaking huge map. Okay, that's better. Hopefully I can actually play. Uh, I think we're okay there. Greeny, if you're still here, is this what I'm looking for for the last one? I assume there's a third one to get the third piece of the outfit. Or is it more over here? You know what? Let's just check this one out. Looks like this is how you get there. Ooh, this is going to be awkward. <laughs> um... Oh, oh, hang on. Hang, hang, hang on. Oh, that's, that, no, that's no challenge. That's going to be, that's going to be the water temple, isn't it? Okay. Well, I guess, oh, okay, this has got to be it here. That has to be it. So I'm guessing probably that tower. An interesting set bonus? Well, hopefully I will find out all about that very shortly. I'd rather you didn't tell me in advance, since I'm so close to getting it. Oh, it gives cold resistance as well. That's handy. Oh, except, wait a minute. Does it actually give cold resistance? I'm only wearing the one piece. Okay, it doesn't look like it does, which is interesting. Unbearable cold. Off to looks like that way, maybe. interesting. Oh, this is a neat design. I like it. I don't think we're flying all the way up there. Oh, 
Oh, this is... Okay. Okay. You can fly here. Oh, shoot. And get bombarded by a million rockets. And it's reacting to the shrine up there. Okay. Son of a gun. Please stop that. There we go. Thank you. Now there's another one here. Okay. See what we got here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get up to the top of that, so let's see what we can do here. I see. Now that I've killed this guy, I can take his platform. And I should be able to use that to get to a position where I can just zip right up to the top.
It's not really wanting to go upwards, is it? I think we're gonna have to use rockets for that. Hopefully we don't go too far upwards. Well, well, okay, that's farther than I meant. But it might actually work out. This will be a Korok thing. Hey, Nabby. Welcome back. Oh, I already did this one, didn't I? Or did I? No, this is my first time here. Okay. Ah, there they are. I don't think we're going to be able to climb up to the very top from here. We're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. But first, Mayana's Shrine. Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it at the shrine. Do so and I will grant you a light that banishes evil. <clears throat> the South Lenariu Sky Crystal. Okay, so it's back up there where I just was, unfortunately. Yeah, I kind of thought that was going to be the case. I don't suppose I've still got my ruby weapon. No? Okay. But that's okay. I can equip that and I can make that a ruby weapon. I should have rubies. <clears throat> that will let me easily do fire. Or I could just, I don't know, we'll see. I could do fire arrows as well. That might be cheaper and easier. That's not fire, that's a uh, beam.
I guess I could just cut it apart too. I don't even really need to burn it. But let's be honest, burning's pretty fun. Okay, so they've given us a couple of fans, they've given us some batteries, they've given us a control stick, and they've given us a crystal. Yep. Oh, and they've given us a glide wing, too. All right, I think I see what we need to do here. Thank you very much for the shout out, Greenie. I appreciate that. Everybody, if you're not already following Nabi Doo, please make sure you go give her a follow. She's a fantastic friend of the channel, has been for many years, and in addition to being a streamer who is awesome in her own right, she's also a wonderful artist and is responsible for the two emotes that we have in this channel that actually possess artistic merit. So do make sure you go check her out. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, we want that to be more right there, I think. There we go. You were not ready for that. Well, that's too bad now because it's true. Okay, now we just need batteries. Probably don't really need the batteries as much anymore, but we're going to use batteries anyway. Come on, you need to go down. That was not how I imagined that going. <laughs> Okay, tell you what, we'll come back to this one in a minute. 
we're gonna head over here and we'll do this and then we'll go back and get it and maybe that'll give us our little helipad thing to uh, reappear to respawn where it needs to be I guess I could have used rewind on that. Oh well. Okay, let's see how this goes. Valor Island. thing I got all those <laughs> this is what this one's just unfair this was the cloudy one Ugh. oh uh, five minute warning, guys. We're gonna have a break in five minutes. This is just obnoxious. At least you don't have to worry about a time limit on this one. So I'm probably just gonna... Uh, oh. And I... Missed my, yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks like this one might be cloudy by intention. Thank you, Greeny. <laughs> Relax and fall through slowly. Okay, fine. We'll, I, I'll try not to break all the records and my bones this time. <laughs> yep, this one, Nubby. Oh, damn it. I got greedy and I paid for it. stock on fairies now.
Well done. Thank you for doing the trial run of the course. I am pleased to see that you completed it safely. I think the time is right to begin the dive ceremony. I must ask one thing before we begin. Please offer one zone I charge. Then I will guide you to the starting position. Please pass through all the rings within 35 seconds. No promises. This is where I lose all my zone I charges. Damn it. <sighs> your time is 31.76. Well done. This is proof of your maturity. You have earned it. Nice. I congratulate you on completing the ceremony, but you must not grow complacent. The ceremony has been completed in as little as 25 seconds. I guess not dying would probably help with that. Continue to improve so that you can do better. And not even wearing... Oh, that... My God, I forgot. I completely forgot. I'm still wearing the stealth suit. That would probably also help a lot. Okay, let's do cold resistance. And that should hopefully allow me to wear the complete suit. Holy crap, this is so mobile. Oh, this is so much easier. My god. Not quite in time, though. 26.06. Oh, I respect your effort. My advice for your next attempt is to accelerate. The trick is to go as fast as your courage will allow. Oh, uh, ads are in progress. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> hey, Teo, got a surprise for you. Oh, yeah? What's that? Spider-Man! Oh. <laughs> Did you have an adventure? <laughs> oh, you almost gave Daddy a heart attack. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. <clears throat> oh. Good work, other Spider-Man. Thanks. Yeah. Of course. I'm gonna phrase it as a call to action. No, we're not going there. Oh, I guess we're going there. And the underground moves right in. Sam, another memory prompt? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Sam Node on the Hyperion to investigate further. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Can I not fly it? Welcome aboard, yada, 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 yada. Look, you may be our captain, but I don't have to like it. What? What? Please give a warm welcome to our new captain. They force their way onto our ship and into our hearts. <laughs> What? 
This is not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> what the? This is a whole new area to explore. <laughs> that was <laughs> wow good job oh is the body of the dog alerting her even though I don't have the opportunity to move it that certainly seems to be her goal Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Let's give this another try. Oh my god, 25.58? Rude. We're so close, I have to do it. Your time is 24.56. I do not recall ever seeing a faster time than that. Many have participated in the ceremony on this island. You showed that you have courage surpassing them all. This is to commemorate your incredible record. You have earned it. Would you kindly tell me your name? I ask so that I can register you as the record holder. Thank you. I have registered your record under the name of Link. Will you attempt the dive ceremony once more? No, I'm good. Okay. That was cool. Um, let's get back into our cold weather gear and we're gonna try that shrine again. If we can get back up there. <laughs> oh, actually, speaking of shrines, we have to do this shrine first. Then we'll go back and do the other one. Raru's Blessing. See a jog shrine. Ooh, diamond. Very nice. Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place.
We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. First one, like what, Nabi? Oh, we have enough for two more hearts. Three more lights of blessing, and I can get three hearts. Uh, but, yeah, but what do you mean by this type of shrine? That's the part that's confusing me. Which type are you referring to? It's the third one that I've done that's been part of the jump challenges. So the answer is probably no, no matter what type you're referring to. Oh, Raru's Blessing? Oh god, no. I've done many, many, many of them. I've uploaded many, many, many of them. I don't know if you're aware, Nabi, but... I am uploading every single shrine playthrough that I do. Like, every solution to every shrine that I undertake is going up on YouTube. Which means I'm basically committed to doing all 152 shrines. With the exploration... Oh, no. I've done many of them. I've done a lot of them. In fact, I've done quite a few of the crystal ones. Although, not nearly enough of those. I need to do more. Now, how do we get back up to the crystal one? <laughs> Where was that? Oh, that no, that's not it. Uh, oh, it might be up there. Okay, I think we're going to have to go back to the tower. I've actually got three YouTube channels, Nobby, although only two of them are currently in regular rotation for being used. I've got my archives channel, which I upload all of my VODs to. And surprisingly enough, that's actually proving to be a lot more popular than I thought it would be. But I've also got my regular channel, which is where I upload all of my YouTube shorts. And I'm putting the Shrine videos on there too. Uh, right, okay. Over there, I believe, that we need to get to. Right, because we go over there to that one down there, and then we... do the thing. You are subbed. YouTube was not notifying. Got it. Okay. Oh, right, right. We use that thing. I remember. I remember like it was less than an hour ago. Guys are annoying. Yeah, I'll just ignore him. It'll be fine. If I ignore him, he'll go away, right?
Heavy and uses a lot of power. Yeah, I'm noticing that. It's not exactly battery friendly. <laughs> I like the uh, little bounce I got there. Try this again. Whoops, little front heavy there. not the time to play with that design. Let's just do straight acceleration. Hey Zerpy, how goes? It is good to see you. It doesn't take much effort. There we go. It's a little off-center, so this is going to be a little awkward, but that's okay. Um, no. Okay, 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 hang on. Let's not lose it this time. See, now it's going unpowered. Hopefully it'll drift down low enough that I can grab it. Maybe. I'm not sure it's working out quite that way. Maybe, maybe. Hey! Okay, that wasn't the way I pictured it working, but it worked. Hmm. 
Mayana Shrine. You who offers the crystal, I will grant you a light that banishes evil. South Lenaryu Sky Crystal complete. The ice guides you. All right, let's see what we got here. So it looks like we've got ice fruit. And flame emitters, interesting. We have a door here we need to open. We have two metal panels, three metal panels. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. Four metal panels. I like how using a Zonai device inside of a shrine does not use up your own battery. Yeah. Okay, this one is for kind of timing discovery. Or maybe I just solve it. got some more ice fruit we can solve it right away but obviously we don't want to do that get a closer look at this. This is an interesting twist. Okay. 
Welcome back, Bob. Your PC restarted randomly. That's weird. Okay, let's see. Okay. Not bad. Mo Mighty Zonite Shield, another level 50 shield. Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light which that will cleanse you of evil. So that's what, ten now that I've got? May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. That's probably our last shrine for the day, because I'm going to have to go take care of my hand a bit. It's a lot better than it was, but uh, I think it's going to need a little bit of time. But we're not quite done yet. I'm not going to wrap up just now. Instead of chasing more shrines to do, have another idea. We're going to head back home. I'm going to get two more hearts. And then we're going to go visit one of the great fairies. Because we have new outfits that need upgrading. And I at least want to see how much it's going to cost and do the upgrading if possible. Nope. 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 There. Thank you. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their lights of blessing. In exchange for four lights of blessing, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is that you desire. Well, I can't really get stamina, so we might as well do hearts. Man, I still haven't even started row two yet. Wow, okay.
Uh, let me see. I think we're going to go down to Nekluda and we're going to visit Kotera. She was always my favorite in the first game. Okay, where's Kotera? There she is. Welcome back, boy. Do you want me to enhance your clothing? Ah. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing to the maximum. Hmm? Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. I actually don't have very many key swings. But I have enough to do each of these. Mm. I don't think we're getting level mm. two. Yes, please. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna need a bunch of key swings. Mm. Luckily, that's not mm. usually too terribly difficult to do. Let's see what else she can do. Uh, we can do... Oh, Octorok Eyeball. Okay, we can do the Yaga Armor. Zonite Waste Guard. Mm. We can do the Froggy Sleeve. Sticky Lizard and Horriblin Horn. Mm. Okay, what else can we do? Actually, I don't... Nope, we can't do any more, sadly. Alright. You've reinvigorated my forlorn family, haven't you? Come back anytime you're looking to enhance your clothing to the maximum. See you later. Ooh, okay, so we got some upgrades done. Um, what else can we do? That was my last death? 
I guess I haven't died in a while. What should we do next? Oh, um, I had located some, yeah, there's some stuff down here. There was a light route right here. Let's see if we can find that shrine. I know I said we were done with shrines, but it's not too bad. I don't want to end too early. And my hand, it's annoying, but it is improving, so it'll be fine. It'll be just fine. Oh, actually, this is right underneath one of the statues, isn't it? So let's also take advantage. Where is this? This is the Spring of Courage. Yeah, okay. So let's put a stamp on that to remind me that that's got to be a Bargainer statue as well. In fact... Before we go looking for the shrine, let's maybe check out the Bargainer statue. Okay, so that's behind us. We want to go nope. this way. Nope. nope. So what is this? What is this? I didn't notice this before. Left Leg Depot? Interesting. All right then. Actually, I'm fascinated by this, but I don't want to do it right now. We're going to have to come back to this. Fortunately, it is ow, very easy to find it again. <laughs> You must be off. All right, Greeny, have a fantastic night. I hope you're not too tired today. Thank you, Greeny. I will do my best. Okay, this has got to be it here. Spring of Courage.
You who stand before me, make an offering. Offer pose to me, spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. They are pitiful beings who have lost their home and wandered this land. I am one who returns all pose to the afterlife without prejudice. Good, evil. That's the futile perspective of narrow-minded beings. There is no such distinction in wandering spirits. I take it you have encountered my brethren. Stay a moment. My brethren and I have combined our power to create the dark trousers. If you desire it, you must make a suitable offering. Um... Okay, so this seems to only be stuff that I've already got, except for this new one, the Dark Trousers. I have returned the Lost Spirits to the afterlife. Seek my brethren in this land. If you do so, you may receive further blessings. Okay. That was all I wanted to do there, so let's go back up. Some insects in Hyrule come out only while it's raining. Let's see if we can find this shrine. It's probably inside the cave, right? I'm guessing it's going to be inside the cave. That was not what I wanted to do. Tobio's Hollow Cave. Good. I need key swings. And key eyeballs. Are not a bad thing either. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> well, that could have gone better.
Not bad. Now what have we got in here? I see stuff. of healing, do I? That'll do. Did I miss him entirely? That's annoying. That's interesting. I don't know what we're going to end up doing with that. I think we need Yunobu back again. There we go. Oh, there's another one. That's so rude. Yep. Emblazoned shield. 13. Wow. Never mind. Come on. Yep. Shield of the mind's eye. But no splinter still. Nice work, guys. How many wings have I got now? If I have enough wings, like 15 or so, I don't think I've got that many. 14! I'm so close. I just need, like, a few more keys. Whoops. Huck. 
Ah, crap. Misjudged the distance. There we go. Bubble gem. I'm going full stealth for this, I think. I want those sticky lizards. Okay, now, it kind of looks like I was mistaken. It kind of looks like this is not where the shrine was. Not at all. That's okay, though. At least we've narrowed down the possible locations. So if it's not accessible from a shrine, or from a cave, rather, or at least not from that cave, we can check around here for something else. Maybe there's another cave? See one. Oh, what is this? I don't remember this. That was probably a mistake. Oh, no, we're okay. We're, we're all right. There's a weird shadow here. I think it's the shadow of that thing over there.
This looks all kinds of wrong for the location of a shrine, though. What? That can't be right. That must be a mistake. Okay, so maybe not that one. But there were others, right? How about that? Do we have that? We have that. How about that? Have we got that? Yes. Oh my god, I'm just noticing that the landscape is a mirror image of the landscape above. That's kind of wild. So the high points of mountains become the low points of the Underdark. That's actually kind of cool. Well, could try that one. Let's go here. I'm snoozing the uh, the ad break, by the way, so that we can get a little bit closer to 6.30, just in case we happen to come across the shrine. Okay, so we're going to have to go up there. Let's keep our current outfit. Yeah, we're getting the... So that's the other weird part. My shrine proximity detection was not going off. So that's another weird thing. Hello. Just passing through, don't mind me. Okay, can't help but notice there's a distinct lack of shrines here. We may be looking for a cave situation again. Guys, still coming? Yeah. Oh, they're they're kind of backing off. That's just as well. here. Oh, hang on. That looks very cave entrancey, doesn't it? I think we've got it. It's a shame I couldn't get those keys. Well, 
That's not creepy at all. Oh, it's a rainy cave, though. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't think fire is going to do it, so we might have to cut through. Get him! Get him! You got him. Royal bow. Very nice. Untarnished, I might add. Although I guess it's more the hand-to-hand -hand weapons, the melee weapons. Those are the ones that uh, seem to be tarnished, not so much the bows. Which is a little we Oh, crap. Oh, God. Okay. Um... Oh no! Crap! I'm out of arrows! Damn it, I had so many earlier! Rude. Maybe this is one of those situations where I don't necessarily need to kill them. Maybe I can just sort of slip past. That would be handy. That's unfortunate. That was my favorite hammer. Oh, I have an arrow. Half expected a Korok there.
Yenobu, you're not around? That sounded like there were monsters around. Zonite sword, I guess. It's not as good, but it'll do for now. Can't help but notice, though, still not finding the temple. There's stuff down there. That's interesting. Yep. Sapphire. Okay. Oh, okay. Hang on. That's interesting. How do I make this climb? I guess this might be my best bet. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm not going to be able to make the climb right now. I've used up all of my snoozes on the... Um, on the ads and we're way too close to 630 and I do need to put my hand in some water for a while so I'm gonna save here and we will continue this cave next time and see if we can't find that shrine assuming it's actually inside the shrine so I apologize for leaving that uncompleted but we'll be doing more of this on Friday I'm sure or Thursday I mean so let me get my list of awesome people who are live and we'll see who we're going to go visit this afternoon. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. It's been a really fun stream. Looks like Greeny is doing some Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. He is, of course, finished with Solasta as of last night. We've also got Mandolin with some Minecraft. If you want more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Vanna's on playing that. And we haven't raided Vanna in a very long time. Fox Queen is playing some Final Fantasy VIII.
Ellie's on, playing More Satisfactory. Michelle Boyd is on, playing Transistor, or she will be playing Transistor. Right now she's just chatting. Smashley is playing Exoprimal. Trisha Hirschberger is on playing They Are Here, Alien Abduction Horror. I don't think we've ever rated her, but she's a pretty good person I know from the tech podcasting world. Also a big streamer. Oh, Sam is on. Just Sam is on playing Baldur's Gate 3, presumably the early access, I would think. Thank you, Hammer. Thank you, Jen Fair. You know what? We haven't had a chance to raid Sam in a long time. Let's go visit her. It's been a very long time. I hang out in her stream sometimes, but it's not often I get to raid. So let me just get you her link. Uh, okay, so that is her link. This is our raid call. Shh, it's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you are not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the tomb raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you are, um, if you want to uh, just, you know, use, feel free to use any emotes you want. God, sorry, my hand is distracting me. I can't get through this, so we're just going to go. We're going to raid Sam. I will be back on Thursday. Uh, we'll probably be playing this, and then uh, we'll see how far we get there. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I will catch you again real soon. Bye for now.